Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. What do you do when the world around you is falling apart? It's amazing to me how many people are breathing air. They're going about their business and doing the things you're supposed to do. But if you really ask them, they know that on the inside, they are spiritually and emotionally and relationally dead. If we're not careful, all of us can experience that death. When what we need to do, even as the world around us is falling apart, we need to learn how to march when it would be easier to stay where we are and die. Join me each week on the March or Die show as we discuss that and so much more. The Parker Jewish Institute for Healthcare and Rehabilitation strives to provide, with compassion and dedication, superior quality health care and rehabilitation for adults. Parker offers both short-term rehabilitation as well as long-term care, recognizing that many older adults can avoid institutionalization if they have the right support services. Parker has an extensive network of community health care programs and services so that you can receive quality care in the comfort of your own home. For more information, go to parkerinstitute.org. That's parkerinstitute.org. A Prayer for Family by Emma Dancy 1 Timothy 5.8 says, Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. God has entrusted each one of us with different family members. Whether biologically or through adoption, the Lord has strategically placed each one of us where we are for a reason. This calling in 1 Timothy 5.8 is to be taken seriously. In chapter 5, Timothy is discussing the importance of caring for the widows, elders, and servants. In the midst of his instructions, he finds it valuable to pause and share that those who do not take care of their relatives, especially those in their home, have denied the faith and are worse than unbelievers. Why would God speak so harshly about this? Think about the brokenness in homes and the poor effects on the children. Ponder the suffering elderly relative who no one checks on or cares for. Remember the priorities that the Lord has placed on serving Him first, then spouses, then children, etc. There is a clear direction from God that we can do all the ministry in the world, but if we neglect to minister to our own family, the other is in vain. We see an example of this in 1 Timothy 3, when the Lord addresses the qualifications for an elder in the church. Managing his household is one of the requirements. Today, we are going to pray over our families, knowing that God has given specific ministries to us in being part of their lives. Let's pray. Our Father, Thank you so much for intentionally placing me within the family that I am in. Even though every family comes with challenges, you have entrusted these loved ones to me. I pray that you would help me to love them like you. Guide me in your wisdom how to best prioritize them and their spiritual care. Help me to pray for them daily, reach out to them, and love them in the season that they are in. It is not always easy for me to love those closest to me because I experience their sin so often and I see their worst days. Would you give me the strength to be a light to them? Please help me to be strong in you, to love them well. God, would you bless me with extra compassion and gentleness as I walk through life with family? Help me to be a true minister of your love to them even when they do not deserve it. Lord, some families are unhealthy. I pray for any boundaries that need to be set out of protection and love to be made. 
You call us to love, but not to endanger ourselves. Give wisdom to those who have been greatly abused or hurt by their family members. Help them not to walk in shame, but to walk in your victory. Give them wisdom how to love well with healthy boundaries. For those who have experienced broken families, mend what is shattered. Heal their hurts. Give them grace. Show them your great mercy. I pray for spouses who need to reset their priorities. Help me and others to know how to best put you first and then our spouses second. Help us to refine and reveal a greater depth of who you are to them. I pray for parents to know how to love and protect their children well. Give us wisdom on how to disciple them. Help us to share the gospel daily through our words and actions. Lead us as we lead them. Help us to walk in humility when we make mistakes. I pray for those with aging relatives. Help us to love them well. Reach out to them often and show great care for them. Give us joy to listen and learn from their many years. Guide us to show honor and value to them. Lead us in the best ways of caring for their daily needs. Lord, help us not to be hypocrites, but to live out this truth. Help us to value our families well and to show your love to them in ways that you call us to. Unite us in you. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Here in Manhattan, when how long you live depends on where you live, it's time to raise health. When your quality of care depends on who you are and health seems out of your hands, it's time to raise voices, raise expectations for better access, better outcomes, person by person, block by block. With a powerful system of care, that's for everyone. Northwell is here, Manhattan, and we came to raise health. Visit northwell.edu slash NYC.